Hi, Gary. Any change news at all? Uh, Thomas Suchek's not available uh, from last week, so we uh, were covering the protocol set by the Premier League regarding his, uh, his concussion last week. Good start to the season. Second, not beaten from, from the last two, scoring six goals. Yeah. Have you uh, quiet, quieted a few critics? No, I don't want to go top too early. I want to take my time and uh, be quite happy just to tuck in behind the leaders and, and see where that takes me. But it is great to get that kind of start under your belt. It's, it's a platform, isn't it, for the, for the rest of the season? Of course. Any manager will tell you a good start to the season is always really important. We've had a great start to the season. We, you know, we, undoubtedly, we, we had a, a tough games. We have another tough game, which we're going to talk about on, on Friday night. But overall... You know, I have to say we're, I'm pleased with the, the way the players have gone about their work. There are signs that we're getting better and uh, hope we can continue that. I don't know whether or not you're a big fan of, uh, of deadline day, but I guess if you've got a match on the day, it's an extra thing to worry about, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think, I think it's a, a, a little bit unfair. Let's be fair. You would hope that most clubs would all have their, their work done before deadline day. That's the way it should be, but obviously Sky sort of rely a lot on deadline day, so... Uh, you live by it, but the truth is, uh, you know, most clubs should have their work done probably before then. But I think it's unfair that we are on deadline day. I think there's only ever been three games on deadline day, <coughs> and, we, and we are one of them. So it means you won't, you obviously know what's going on, but you won't be able to pay too much attention to it. I probably don't know what's going on anyway half the time. So, <laughs> uh, so no, we'll obviously we are you no know, we are. Uh, we're still we're still in the market, but maybe not not heavily in the market at the moment. That's for sure. So it could be the West Ham fans. The message could be that the reality could be that that's it for the club. Would you be happy with that? No, I didn't say that. I said that I'm, the reality is that we are still in the market, and uh, we will be right up until the last minute. I've got no doubt about that. But but uh, obviously, it being on deadline day makes it really difficult for myself and everybody else to be involved in anything at the last minute. We've got a game to prepare for, uh, and that's the fact. Can I just quickly then, before we move on, play that game where I say a couple of names to you and you tell me you can't comment about other teams playing? We can do that game, no problem at all, yeah. Hugo Akatiki? Player at another club, you wouldn't get me commenting on a player at another club. Okay. Uh, Philip Kostic, we know you're, you're an admirer of him. Uh, I'm an admirer of a lot of players, but again, I would never comment about a player at another club. No. And with the start you've had, if you don't get anybody else in, then it's not the end of the world. Well, we, we, we always had to add some players to the uh, to the squad. We lost Declan and Lanzini. Uh, so we've sort of done that. I said all, also that, you know, probably players had to move on for us to create spaces for people to come in. I don't think I'm changing the words I said probably four weeks ago when I was doing the press conferences. So uh, that's the same. You know, you have to get a balance. We don't want too many players where we find it could be a problem. We want to try and get the right numbers in. And uh, at the moment, we're in we're in pretty good shape. Party atmosphere, despite their perhaps less than so happy start to the season, the Luton they obviously only played away so far. Yeah. First game at home in the Premier League, a new look, Kenilworth Road. Uh, is that something you'll have to bear in mind? Are you out there to destroy yeah. the party? No, very much. We'll have to bear in mind it's, a, it's been a brilliant achievement from Luton to get themselves back in the Premier League. They've done great work last season. It was incredible how well they've done. But let's be fair, they've been knocking on the door a couple of years, you know, over the years they've been they've been picking up. So uh yeah, I, I think they've always been been going to a sort of newly promoted team for the first game of the season's always been tough. So uh unfortunately we've been given that call when it should really it shouldn't have been. You know, we, we should have been probably the second second Premier League game there, I think. Is it making it more difficult, do you think, that they will be massively up for, for this game? Of course you're always up for Premier League games, but it's an extra ingredient, isn't it? Well, that's a question for Luton Town, not for me, really. Uh, all I can do is go and get my team to perform the best they can and make them aware of, of uh, you know, Luton's qualities in in the whole situation. You know, it's everybody knows it's a, a tight environment and Luton will use that to their advantage, I've got no doubt, not just with us, but with most teams through the season. New experience for, for Rob Edwards, of course. I was lucky enough to speak to him in his last game, his last interview before the season started. And he spoke about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of these quality managers. Mentioned Pep, he's going to be 
He said he did his badges, his pro license with Big Cal, and the only other manager he specifically mentioned by name was you saying that he admired everything you'd achieved mm -hmm. in the game. Well, that's very kind of him. Uh, if I was going to pay the compliment back, I would say what he's done for Luton to get Luton in the position they're in, getting them in the Premier League is, is a great achievement. And I think while I was at Watford, he was pretty har harshly treated. So it's great that he's recovered because quite often managers, when they lose jobs, it's not so easy to sort of get back in the horse again and, and get on it. But he certainly has in, improved any doubters wrong. So I certainly admire him for that. I think Luton play... Uh, in a style which uh, I don't know if it's his fully Rob style, but he's gone to a club and sometimes the way the club, the culture is, you have to be able as a manager to fit into that. I think he's done it really well at Luton and uh, he's given their supporters Premier League football again. Just finally, probably the England squad just out. I don't know if you've had a chance to see it, but uh, James and Jared not included. Are you surprised? Look, Gareth, Gareth's a really good manager and picks his England squad. England have got an incredible uh, choice of players. Uh, I'm glad that Jared and, and James is with me, especially because he plays Scotland as well. So I'm, I'm keeping good players back. So uh, I'm happy that those two are staying with me. Next up, James. Hi, James. Good afternoon. Um, regarding James Ward prowess you, you knew what you were getting by signing him. But how was your attack on the time he stepped into the importance of the leadership that brings you to West Ham? Well, I think those those uh, points are, are very valid because that's one of the reasons we did bring him because of the, his Premier League experience. He's been captain of, of a, a side for a long time. He's been a really loyal loyal player over the years for Southampton. And he's come in and settled in really well for us and uh, goes about his business exactly how you, you would look at his personality. Uh, created goal, scored a goal. So we have to say we're, we're really pleased with the start he's made. What are the chances of you being in and around the top four at the end of May? Well, it's a bit early to call that, isn't it? With the with the level of the competition we've got, but overall, you better been been up there. I don't want to hit the front too early, as I said earlier. You know, uh, but I'm really pleased that we've got ourselves in a in a strong position, and we can work from that uh, much better than than the time this time last year. So. Let's see if we can build on it. Did you expect such an impressive start to the season, especially after Declan left? The team is working really well collectively. I said before, uh, when I lost Wayne Rooney at, at Everton and he went to Manchester United, I found that it was more, it's always about the team. And quite often the focus goes on to one player, the media, everybody talks about the one player, how important he is, how big he is. And sometimes people forget that it's the team who's the most important thing and it always will be the team. So uh, we're trying to get a team here who work hard, committed, determined to to be competitive. And uh, at the moment we've got that. We've certainly seen that in the games we've played so far. You have so many years of managing in the Premier League against Rob Edwards. That's his first first season managing the Premier League. As a colleague, what would be the best advice you can give Rob from your years of experience? Well, Rob's doing a really good job. He's had a, he's had a couple of parts of his career have been good and then he's had a couple of dips, but... I don't think you're going to football management unless you're going to get that. Uh, and he's he's now got a big challenge now of of taking Luton in the Premier League, which will be it won't be easy for him. But he's got a lot of things to his advantage, and uh, he's taking a club up which haven't been there for a long, long time. So he'll get a bit of room to to make some mistakes. But also, like any other manager in football, you you tend to be judged by your results in the end. David, hi. Hi there. Not even thought about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope that uh, that's the case uh, because you know it's a sign of of the team doing well. I know the manager gets that award, but if the, if that's the case, then it will be because because of the team's performances. In all seriousness, two amazing results for Chelsea, and then especially even the Brighton one, when when won their two games and yeah. scoring four goals. In the yeah, yeah. I, I, as you well know, being a West Ham supporter, that being uh, Getting results against Brighton over the years has always been incredibly tricky. But just to get away with it, get away from the title, which we've been labelled with us for so many years, uh, was was something which I was so pleased to get rid of after the game. So 
from that point of view, it was it was a really really good result against what, as a side, which as you rightly say, had scored four in each of the two games before. We're in we're in great form, and uh, for us to go down to Brighton and get a result, and again, you know, we've been away from home. This is going to be our third away from home game already, and in, in when we've only played four, where there's many teams had three home games, and only only one away from home. So, from that point of view. Uh, We've had a pretty good start, picking up four points from from two away games this season so far. How important is that? Because last season the away form was average. Yeah, four. yeah. Poor actually. Um, this year you've already won at Brighton. You've got a good chance to back that up but again with another away win tomorrow night at Luton. Yeah, well, it's only it's only the start of the season, so we're not going to get carried away with it. But as you rightly said, getting the, the points on the board, getting the wins, and away victories. Uh, is has been difficult, and again, you know, our, our form at London London Stadium in the main in the main's been pretty good, but we've only had one opportunity to do that so far. So sometimes that you can get your points in the league can be looked at differently. You know, if you're at the bottom of the league, you know, you're trying to explain to people, well, we've actually three games away from home and one at home, uh, whereas some teams have had three games at home. So you people in the media are continually sort of looking, and you're looking at the league table. You might be judging people already. And and let's be fair. In some cases, it's not an equal balance. Trust me, I am looking at the league. So <laughs> I'm looking pretty much on my wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, your recollection of Carol Thorne? You must have played at the Kenwell. Yeah, the yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. Over the years, I have. And uh, the recollection is everybody's well aware of the incredibly small dressing rooms and the tight tunnel, and uh, you know the the crowd. But you know, there's part of that which is part of of the game in in this oh. country, really. And and I've got to say. I think there's a lot of the players really enjoy it. You know, supporters are close to the pitch. You know, you're not so far away. You you can see, you know, you can see every wrinkle. You can see mine from further away, mind you. <laughs> but but I would say that uh, you know you're up close with the players, and and it gives the players that feeling of the pitch being really compact and tight. Do you remind them of where they've almost come from on their journey? Yeah, and I, and I think it's good. That's what we want, isn't it? We want we don't want the football to be completely one dimension we want teams who are probably not expected to get there and actually I, I hope I wouldn't be uh, wrong in saying that you know, maybe Kenilworth Road might be the worst Premier League ground where most teams would have to go but that will also be an advantage to them as well and, and I'm sure they'll try and use that to the best they can Last one it's only three, less than three months since uh, West Ham were crowned European champions one of the European champions Yeah. Um, tomorrow you'll find out the, the draw for the Europa League yeah. What are you hoping for? Uh, another good group, <laughs> group if we can. Uh, good travel that it's not uh, long distances if we can help it because that's that's hugely important in it. Especially you know this part of the season when you lead up to the sort of the Christmas period and we've got Thursday Sunday football. You know MD will tell you it's it can be a drain in some way. We've actually made it look relatively good as far as the European football goes. Maybe our Premier League results in last season didn't back that up. But hopefully we can do it again. Hopefully we can we can enjoy the trip. The supporters can enjoy what they've done hopefully in the last couple of years and we can go and have another go at it. I'm really looking forward to it and and being a European winner gives us that that feeling that we can uh, stick our chests out and, and go and take most teams on. Thank you. Hi there. Well, I wouldn't listen to social media too much. I would, I'd listen to to the people who talk about the game and talk about it. Probably professional people, but overall, uh, James has played two really, really good games, and uh, we hope that that's going to relate into lots of goals, lots of really good performances, and uh, and more of the same from James. So, overall, we're really, really pleased with him. Uh, well, it's very kind of Jared to say that, uh, but I think I think my time at West Ham has been really special. More importantly, I think when I came, I, I said that I wanted to try and grow the club, make it better. I think most of those things are, are are certainly the case. I think we're growing it. We've got European football. We've finished in sixth and seventh in a couple of years from a team that was on the verge of relegation. Uh, 
we've now won a European trophy as well. We started this season in a in a, a good moment. So I hope it would be seen in many ways as, as really positive. But there'll always be people on social media who might question that. <laughs> I think they've had two ridiculously difficult games like we had against uh, Brighton and Chelsea. And I actually think his team's, team's done well in both games. This will be obviously completely different. They're at home. Uh, we, we might see a completely different looking team, uh, which I think a lot of people probably expect from, from their home performances this season.